Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, welcome to our uh, another session of. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our uh, another session of uh, uh, lunch learning session. Wait, let me. Okay, I turn down the volume of my phone. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our lunch learning session. Uh, hopefully, this session we can bring you edutainment, where we bring education and entertainment together in your lunch time. Okay, hope you all uh, enjoy the our lunch learning session. Okay, this is my first time doing live on Facebook. Uh, if any gagap ke, uh, don't, of course, la, there's some mistakes la, because I'm first time here. So, okay, uh, anyhow, uh, I'm invited to do this uh, lunch learning session. Um, because I take this challenge because I think teaching is the best way to learn also. So uh, I think it's good to share something a little bit that I know about SEALs. Okay. Mm. Before that, let me introduce uh, Pro SEALs, uh, Pro SEAL, uh, what we did in, uh, what we do lah, for a brief, brief introduction of our uh, product and services. Pro seal, we do uh, seals like today. Our topic we do o ring, seals, packing. Also, we do ball, hard crewing, repair ball. Uh, basically, we do repair uh, valve, uh, service valve, uh, doing a seal kit for valve. Okay, um, let me see. Oh, I'm not a seal expert. I just want to share a uh, little bit about my knowledge about seals. Uh, I will seem to say here I'm the expert. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I just know a little bit about seal. So I want to share a little bit knowledge about seals, especially today's session, we want to talk about O-ring, the basic knowledge of uh, O-ring, okay? Let me share the slides. Okay, um, anyone here heard about O-ring before? If you all heard before, give me uh, this emoji, this emoji. So, 
Let me see. Anyone know or heard about O-ring? What is O-ring? Yes, Jaja. Jaja know about O-ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So today our content is what is O-ring? I will talk about standard of O-ring, usage of O-ring. Uh, material, uh, the failure mode, and also how to store your O-ring. Okay. So again, what is O-ring? <clears throat> well, a lot of people know of O-ring uh, because I see the comment. A lot of people giving me the five emoji. All right. So okay, let me start the intro. Uh, uh, some knowledge about O-ring. Okay, what is O-ring? O-ring is a donut shape de uh, loop designed to prevent passage of liquid or gases. Means it prevent uh, leaking either from outside to inside or inside to outside. Okay, it's a donut shape, something like this. Okay, donut. It's a circle and the cross section is O shape. Okay. <clears throat> so O-ring usually used in dynamic, either dynamic or static applications. Okay, later I will go through, uh, go uh, explain how you use where, what is dynamic, what is uh, static. Okay. Okay. O-ring. When we measure O-ring, we measure the ID and the cross section. Okay, this is the cross section of the O-ring. Like in the photo, you can see ID and and the width of the O-ring. Width means a cross section. So when you tell somebody the size of the O-ring, you just tell them uh, the ID and the cross section of the O-ring means the thickness. Okay, you, you don't have to mention the OD or OD ID and the thickness. You just mention the ID and the thickness or cross section of the O ring. All right. So in this photo is a this photo is a actuator. Okay. The actuator uh, for static O ring. This area is static. This area is static where the O ring is sitting. Okay. Static means no movement of the O ring. Okay. It just stay there. It won't move. The dynamic application means O ring which is stationed in this piston. Okay. Where the piston will move up and down, up and down the stroke of the piston. And also this rod seal means rod O-ring. The shaft will move up and down. So there's a dynamic movement. Okay. So in, out, in, out from the actuator. And this is called dynamic application of O-ring. Okay. So when you think about donut, it's an O-ring. Okay. O-ring shaped like a donut. Okay, next. Uh, I want to talk about standard of O-ring. There's a field standard. There's a US standard, British standard, Swedish, DIN, Japanese, or non-standard. Non-standard means uh, they can you can make whatever size you want to do, and then we custom made the, the size of the O-ring. But usually in Malaysia, we use British uh, standard, uh, British standard, but it, but the standard you use for O-ring also depends on the uh, machine or uh, or your parts, the origin of the machine, where it come from. So if the machine come from Germany, then they use uh, Germany standard or DIN standard. If they come from British use British standard or the machine come from Japan, 
the valve come from Japan, they probably will use a Japanese standard of O-ring. Okay, um, our next slide. Okay, well, I want to talk about usage of uh, O-ring, where you use it in, okay? Normally, O-ring used in uh, valve, actuator, palm, downhole tools, and seal kit, in your seal kit, whatever seal kit in, uh, in any machine, uh, pipe system, okay? Uh, this photo in our slide shows where the usage of O-ring, for example, bow valve, where, where does the O-ring sit? So the, the location of the O-ring in the stem here, arrow, in the enclosure or body of the bow valve, you can find O-ring there usually, and seat, there's an O-ring uh, near the seat area for actuator, this is a hydraulic actuator, so you can find O-ring in the gland, gland O-ring, piston O-ring, and barrel where the body of the actuator located, okay? <clears throat> okay, I saw this message, there's some question. O-ring is a genus elastic. Uh, O-ring o -ring is a shape or is a seal, type of seal. So, whatever what material it depends on the application what you how you want to use it okay okay for what uh the comment asked so i will go to the material and and uh explain to you all what material used in what application okay this is a uh, very general information so usually nbr we use in general application uh, is a normal normal application uh, like maybe in your handphone that you might find o-ring there because handphone if waterproof water resistant uh, handphone you can find probably you can find a little very small o-ring inside there okay this is called general usage okay epda material o-ring usually uh, used in the water uh, UV or outdoor exposure application. So if your machine or your valve uh, located in outdoor and always exposed to UV or the sunlight, so you should use EPDM material O-ring, okay? For high chemical resistant and high resistant, you should use uh, FKM or Viton, okay? For FKM AED. What is AED? AED means anti means anti explosion decompression. Means uh, the material can resist those uh, high pressure when the gas go into the uh, material and it can resist the gas go into the material and explode and spoil the damage the seal. So later I will show you the failure method of the uh, failure mode of this explosion explosion decompression uh, material okay ffkm mean uh, usually they call caress is uh, excellence chemical resistance see we got silicon material hnbr uh, and encapsulated uh, material okay uh, I got one special material which I want to uh, share with you all. Before that, I want to ask you guys, guys, I want to ask the guys uh, some question. If you want protection, what you wear, what you want to wear to protect yourself? This is for, for boys only, uh, for, men, for men, this question.
Okay, let, I will check the comment. See anyone can answer. So this, uh, what I mean is protection for, for, for your safety. See, anyone can guess? I asked, uh, boys only, uh, Ashikin, you no need to answer the question. Hey, ini bukan quiz, ini just tanya, tanya shock shock saja. <laughs> eh, tak ada boy tahu ah. Uh, uh, quiz nanti selepas so uh, this slide, I will give some quiz. This is just a uh, uh, general knowledge I want to ask the boys ah. Uh. Seem, uh, it seems that nobody know the answer. So, uh, so from this picture, okay, if you want protection, you wear some. <laughs> For boys, of course, you need to, to wear uh, safety, you wear condom. <laughs> Yeah, you wear condom. <laughs> so in O-ring, we got also uh, application that you need to wear condom. So this, we call it a con O-ring that wear condom. Lah. So why you need to, this O-ring, why you need to wear condom? Because they want the elasticity of the rubber. They want elasticity of the rubber, but they want the chemical, high chemical resistance of a Teflon. Okay, if you use Teflon only O-ring, which is, okay, this is this one. This is a pure Teflon O-ring. So it is a very high chemical resistance, but it is not elastic. Okay, so if you want elastic, but a high chemical resistant O-ring, you put an O-ring, you put condom on an O-ring. This is, this is called encapsulated O-ring, okay? means the outer layer is protected by uh, PTFE material. The inside is a rubber material, okay? So you will learn something, right? Today, I think some, some of you first time heard of this encapsulated O-ring or we call it condom O-ring. <laughs> Okay, the next one, the failure mode. Okay, how, let me see the comment. Huh? After I see condo, I think a lot of people want to comment. So let me see a bit the comment. <laughs> wow, Luis, Luis want, to, want me to show him how to wear condom. <laughs> I think he's the one who should teach me huh, how to wear condom. <laughs> Uh, okay, next on is I want to talk about failure mode of uh, O-ring. Okay, so how a, how uh, an O-ring can fail? Okay, okay, <clears throat> aging because this is a rubber, so it has its own lifespan depend on what material you use. Okay, from cracking. Uh, usually the problem is because of UV, UV radiation or ozone and so the correct measures to overcome this problem you use correct uh, you, you store it correctly and you use a suitable material for this uh, uh, UV radiation okay for static seals uh, uh, these static seals uh, failure mode deterioration. So why this 
you see the photo this time why it happened because you use the wrong material in your application because the medium the, the material of the o-ring cannot resist the chemical in the fluid in the in your machine in your uh, parts uh. so how to solve the problem you, you need to use a correct material of o-ring inside your machine so you need to use a suitable material okay another one next one is <clears throat> volume swell means you you measure correctly the size of the o-ring but after you use it after a while the o-ring contacted with the medium it enlarged it swell so it become bigger so what happened why this this thing happened because this o-ring is not suitable for the uh, medium use okay you need to select a, a correct material of o-ring to resist this uh, uh, material this machine okay okay next one is gap extension gap extension means uh, your housing tolerance housing and, and the machining quality of the machine of the o-ring group uh, is not correct means the too much gap between the male and the female okay too much gap so and there's no chamfer on the groove for the valve so when you install it you will cut it into uh, uh, cut the o-ring then when, and then there will be an extrusion so how to overcome this extrusion problem so usually we'll add backup ring at the back of the o-ring so to close down the gap uh, extrusion gap okay you normally we put uh, backup ring okay and also uh, if the gap is too big then you need to machine your housing uh. okay the next one failure is damage damaging of the seal so you can see from the photo there's a uh, some cut some parts of the o-ring is being cut uh, okay this is because uh, assembly failure because probably there's a error during assembly uh, there's no chamfer on your another one is probably there's no chamfer on your uh, housing when you install the o-ring there's no housing it's too sharp then you will cut the seal all right so how to solve this problem so you might you must you must check your housing there must be a chamfer on your housing and you need to check your o-ring dimension okay and you use a proper tools to install the o-ring okay next one uh, is the uh, decompression and gas expansion okay explode this is what i said just now uh, aed o-ring okay from this situation situation like this you need to use a aed o-ring so it means that during high pressure okay during high pressure the gas will if you are using normal o-ring the gas high pressure the gas will go into the o-ring okay so the gas will go into the o-ring so when you release the pressure suddenly release the pressure the pressure inside the gas inside the o-ring there's no where to release so it will burst inside the o-ring so from this picture you can see there's a burst mark on the o-ring so the o-ring will fail so the solution for this you should choose if high pressure gas application you should choose uh, aed o-ring aed material and uh, aed white tone or aed uh, hnbr okay uh, 
last one i think my slide this is the last one oh another one storage how you store your o-ring okay how you store your o-ring so here i got another one plastic bag plastic bag black plastic bag so this plastic bag is to store your o-ring so why you use black plastic bag okay the plastic bag because we want to protect the o-ring from the ozone okay or the direct sunlight so usually we use pack, pack, uh, plastic bag like this put inside it it's better if you put individual o-ring inside your bag okay and no stress okay another one okay you protect and then you need to protect it from high electric high electrical equipment because uh, the radiation will uh, uh, damage the o-ring okay and the third one you shall not you shall be store and handle in a relaxed condition it means you keep it in a plastic bag like this okay you don't hang don't hang on the wall don't hang on your neck <laughs> okay you don't wear it in your like bangle okay you don't want chin chin uh, this is all wrong usage uh. you don't store like this this is not the right way to keep your o-ring okay <clears throat> so and then you need to store of course you need to store in a uh, air condition place if in malaysia well weather is humid hot and humid so it's better to store it the story in an uh, air-conditioned uh, environment so it's better to store it, store it under 25 degree Celsius all right okay uh, that's it for our slide so we've got two more minutes until 2 p.m. we've got two more minutes okay we open up the quiz okay the quiz is name three o-ring usage okay three o-ring usages uh any three any three any three answer and i will pick uh the correct answer number eight from the correct answer not the fastest one eh? i won't pick the fastest one i pick the winner will be uh, number eight from uh with the correct answer number eight percent to answer correctly okay from my uh, phone okay uh, so this is the uh, so what is the answer okay wow comment banyak masuk <laughs> Banyak masuk comment. No. So uh, the answer is either three of these answer lah. Okay, valve actuator, pump, downhole tools, circuit, pipe system. Okay, three of whoever answer three of these and number eight from the question from from, from number eight correctly from my phone huh? so you will get the price of just now i said donut right it's a shape of a donut right so i will give you a voucher of donut <laughs> okay crispy cream half dozen voucher donut voucher because only is shaped like a donut so i give you a voucher uh, i give you a barcode lah. if you, the winner i give the barcode uh, then you can claim at any uh, Krispy Kreme uh, branch or store. Let me see. Who's the number eight? Uh, I need to choose the. I need to choose the uh, winner here. Okay, I'm checking on my phone. Number eight. Wow, so many answers. One, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On my phone is Ilda. <laughs> wow, I think I saw Ilda won a lot of uh, quiz before. <laughs> Okay, uh, so Ilda is the winner. So congratulations. You can claim your uh, donut voucher from me. Or I'll send uh, the barcode to you. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I think this is the end of my lunch learning session. I hope you all enjoy it and uh, and also bring a, a, some uh, fun to you all and joy to you all. And what I said just now, something is just for joking. Huh? Uh, don't get it too seriously. So apologize if I talk, if I got any mistakes because this is uh, my first time. So hope to see you all again next time okay and also uh, uh, this is a very difficult slot to get because i heard the queue for the lunch learning slot is uh, full until next year so whoever want to do lunch learning session uh, you have to wait uh, until next year because this is very uh, hot session in our tecom uh, bmb all right or, uh, Alright, that's all. See you again next time. Bye. Bye-bye.